three years ago when I started the Double Days tour around this time when we reached Gauteng uh, via Kozul Natal in the Eastern Cape uh, and the Garden Route I made a statement at the meeting that we had in Lazonia there were many people present there that wanted to know what's happening in the country and someone's question prompted my response and my response was simply that the three big things that will be happening in the country is first the collapse of the Zulu Kingdom then the absolute collapse and destruction of ESCOM and next will be the secession battle in that order and I didn't think that uh, things would happen that soon uh, with regards to the Zulu Kingdom but I think it was two or three months later that things started playing out the Zulu King is currently in hospital being treated out of South Africa uh, for what is suspected to be poisoning now I'm not going to get into the debate as to what it is uh, that has made him ill but uh, he believes that uh, his father and mother seek treatment in South Africa and because of that they ended up dying and uh, he believes that they were poisoned and within the Zulu Kingdom it certainly is causing destabilization there were many people that fought for the throne these uh, sections of the Zulu Kingdom uh, splitting up now that are establishing their own areas which is in a way their own secession and uh, then obviously what is happening within ESCOM uh, all of these things needed to happen for something to happen around 2025 where a savior will walk into the country and create an interim government and these are parts of plans I've been aware of for many many years that uh, our government needs to collapse to the point where other people can come in and the United Nations will be involved in this to be saviors and people will welcome them with open arms because we won't have electricity, we won't have water, our water infrastructure would have collapsed, many other things because you won't see anyone in government doing what is necessary wherever they govern to mitigate this so at the moment we're sitting with uh, one major thing that needs to really kick off and uh, that is a secession battle there's many meetings happening behind the scenes uh, to discuss this when I believe in political system change we need to change the system of governance that we have currently in the country to one where we elect our leaders directly where they become servants servants to the people and be subservient to the people to do that we need to become empowered as citizenry we need a critical mass of citizens in the country that are educated with regards to what it means to be a citizen what it means to have democracy and what it means to have a constitution that doesn't take your freedom away so if you want more information on all of this subscribe to this channel click that bell icon and uh, get notifications for new videos go and watch some of the past videos on this channel it'll serve you well thank you very much till the next video